Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about the definition of joint variation proportion. Now, in joint variation proportion, what you have is one variable related to two or more variables on the other side. And for example, the typical setup is going to be y is equal to k x z. Now, in a joint variation proportion, you're going to have at least the variable y, for example, related to two or more variables. So it can be k z, but you might have k x z, let's just say a b, etc. But the minimum is the y is related to at least two uh, variables on the other side, and k is the constant of variation. Now, if you have, for example, y is equal to 3xz, this is an example of joint variation proportion. Now, the idea here is if you have, if you were to divide both sides by, let's just say, xz, then you can make a case that the ratio of y and kz is going to equal to some kind of constant. Now, if you have a situation where y is equal to, let's just say, kbxz, for example, where b is an additional variable, you can make the same kind of argument. If you divide both sides by bxz, you can make a case that the ratio between y and the variables that are below it is equal to some kind of constant. But the bottom line is, in a joint variation proportion, you have one variable that's in proportion to two or more variables on the other side with a constant of variation in between. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's the definition of joint variation proportion.